entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Okay, okay, okay. Trey Six Hundo. Three Six Double O. Let's go, y'all. Y'all know what's going on, man. Taekwon Terrell Bowman was born March 23rd, 1999, and is professionally known by his stage name, Quando Rondo. He initially gained attention with the release of his song, I Remember, featuring Lil Baby in January 2018, leading him to drop three mixtapes, Life Before Fame in 2018, Life After Fame again in 2018, and From the Neighborhood to the Stage, which dropped in 2019. Quando Rondo, aka Taekwondo, aka QPOC, aka QRN. Taekwondo Bowman was born and raised in Savannah, Georgia. He showed at an early age and he had an interest in music. As a teenager, Taekwondo was involved in a lot of stuff which caused him to spend time in juvenile detention centers, which led to him in 2017 spending months in the county jail and being released in October. Breaking news at five, Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, whose real name is Taekwon Bowman, will be released from jail. At that time, he decided to pursue music full time. During his teenage years, he was also a member of the Savannah and Atlanta subset of the Rolling 60s neighborhood Crips. His stage name, is a play on of his nickname, Quando, and he is also a fan of the basketball player, Rajon Rondo. He grew up listening to Chief Keef, Rich Homie Quan, Young Thug, and Camouflage. Bowman adopted his stage name, Quando Rondo, in 2017. Like I said, it derives from his nickname, Taekwondo, and Rondo was added as he liked the, the sound of it. What team was John Rondo on? Quando's earliest song is dated back to March 1st, 2017, after uploading the track titled Gangsta Bitch directly to his official SoundCloud page. My she my gangsta chick. I fought with her because she always on some gangsta shit. If I'm my little gangsta right here, I'm oh, my mom. My gangsta. Girl, you want my mind 24 7, yeah. In November 2017, after being released from jail, he made a freestyle that he wrote while incarcerated titled I Remember on YouTube, which quickly went viral. Late nights on my avenue by myself, I ain't need a gang member, nigga, I remember. I ain't had no money on my books this time, last year on September. In January of 2018, he released the song I Remember featuring the rapper Lil Baby. He followed that up with the release of songs Motivation and Paradise. The videos for all three songs accumulated millions of views on YouTube. This led to the release of his debut mixtape, Life Before Fame, on April 17, 2018. Guest appearances such as Lil Baby, Lil Dirt, and Owen B. Peasy, the mixtape also featured Quando's viral track, ABG, which has accumulated over 71 million views. In June 2018, Quando Rondo released the single, Kickin' Shit, and later that month, it was announced that he was the first signee to Young Boy Never Broke Again's Atlantic Records imprint, Never Broke Again. Yeah. Never Broke Again. Oh! Yeah. 
Yeah. Stop playing like a nigga ain't gang now, nah, nigga. On the count of three, everybody say NBA ain't never broke a game. One, two, three. NBA ain't never broke a game. Hey, bro, I appreciate that bet, bro. He say neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood. Bet. Put that on right quick, you know neighborhood. Hey, say three. Make, Hold up. make sure you bang on them before you walk off the oh, stage. Oh, I got off in the bang on them. Bang on Following the announcement, Quando's life before fame was re-released through NBA and Atlantic Imprint. In August of that year, he and Kevin Gates were featured on Young Boy Never Broke Again song, I Am Who They Say I Am. On September 24th, 2018, Quando Rondo released his sophomore mixtape. Life After Fame, a sequel to his debut. The mixtape proceeded to peak at 174 on the Billboard Top 200, marking his first entry. In February 2019, Quando Rondo released the single Scarred From Love, which appeared on his third mixtape From the Neighborhood to the Stage, released on May 10th, 2019, which brings us to the first documented troubles of his professional career. On March 12th, it was reported that Rondo and Young Boy Never Broke Again had a suit filed by a man claiming to be the rapper's bodyguard, tour manager, and tour DJ for assault, battery, and emotional distress. Why the fuck you ain't got that man, huh? Because of what? No, With the newfound fame, success, and attention, it wasn't long before Quando Rondo was feuding with other artists in the rap game. Right now, T.O. 63rd. That's how we coming. You know, we on 64. We got posted with this bitch. Hey, we on 64 with this shit. I don't get your video. Man, your teeth shining like a motherfucker on this bitch. Hold on, get your teeth in that bitch. Damn! Oh! 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 Damn! Oh!
to find King Von and his crew angrily approaching him and his associates. There was footage of King Von throwing punches at Quando Rondo prior to the gunfight. But this is a $250,000 car. You feel me? I'm gonna stay right here till they get right here. You feel me? So if they do that, I'm gonna get in the back seat. I'm gonna go to sleep. You feel me? I'm with my day one, my main mind. I could do this. Like, you feel me? He want, I want to think about it. He gonna protect me with anything which anybody should do. Right. And everybody knows you there right now because people were taking pictures with you. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Boom, bam. Boom, bam. I walk, I walk from the car. I turn around to walk up. I see a group of people coming. In my mind, I'm like, in my mind, I'm just thinking regular in reality like you would think. I'm about to let these people walk past me. I'm not about to try to go through these people or nothing like that. Because I know, like, in the Hollywood world, I don't want, like, I'm thinking it's some regular individuals. If I would have just tried to walk through them, they would have been like, that nigga going to world don't think he this. He think he that. He think he a big dog. He tried to walk through us. And you feel me? So I'm letting this group come by. Next thing you know, a nigga hit me. You feel me? Boom, bam. Man, like, I lied to you not, man. I lied to you not. Like, like, it's like I had an out-of-body experience. Quando Rondo publicly remained silent on the incident until two weeks later when he released the song End the Story, which was assumed to be a reference to King Vaughn's song trilogy crazy story in the song he recalls the shooting and addresses his involvement he also again states that he was defending himself and even shows support for his friend timothy leeks a rapper also known as lil tim who was charged for the murder of king vaughn after the murder of king vaughn things continued to go downhill for the rising star on august 19 2022 quando rondo and his friend who went by the name lil pab were reportedly shot at in los angeles his friend Lil Pab was killed in the shooting. A passenger in that car frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. LAPD says witnesses heard multiple gunshots, then watched a couple cars zoom off. Three people in one car shot at this black Cadillac Escalade. It's unclear if those inside shot back. Can I get, can I get some space, please? It ended at Santa Monica Boulevard. Deputies found it peppered with bullet holes and a shattered window. One man inside, a member of Ronto's entourage, had been shot. A 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died. A scene left with remnants of the fight, shoes left in the street, doors flung open. The suspects still on the run. We still don't know what spurred it all, but LAPD says it started at a gas pump. The victim vehicle, uh, they pulled up, they were pumping gas. And it looks like they probably finished pumping gas and the suspects uh, approached from the alley, got out of the car and started shooting at those victims. Investigators are still trying to piece together details, but they're looking for a white four-door sedan with suspects wearing dark clothing. Police helicopters overhead, so we knew something was up. People in the neighborhood shocked by the news. In June of 2023, Quando Rondo was arrested in Chatham County, Georgia and indicted on charges related to drug sales and gang activity. Thanks for being with us tonight. Let's get straight to that breaking news. The Savannah man, known as rapper Quando Rondo, was arrested overnight by the Federal Bureau of Investigations. 24-year-old Taekwon Bowman was taken into custody on federal drug charges, according to an FBI spokesperson. Savannah Police was the arresting agency. They say Bowman was pulled over at Burroughs and 37th Streets around midnight Friday. SPD says he was the passenger and the only person in the car taken to jail without incident, according to a department spokesperson. Now, the federal arrest comes nearly six months after Bowman and 18 others were indicted on 49 counts of state drug and gang charges. Bowman was accused of violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act for playing a role or managing role in the Rolling 60s gang. But he was released on a $100,000 bond following his arrest after Atlantic Records representatives showed up in court. However, on July 19, 2023, weeks after being granted bond, Quando Rondo appeared in the car crash and showed signs of an overdose. Prosecutors filed a motion to get Bowman's bond revoked. 
However, it was rejected, but at the expense of being barred from driving until his trial was complete. On bond in July, prosecutors say he crashed and rolled his car after an apparent overdose. Judge Tammy Stokes denied the state's motion to revoke his bond, but ordered he could no longer drive. Then in September, prosecutors tried to ban him from Chatham County. They said he was the target of several shootings and that his presence posed a threat to the rest of the county. Again, Judge Stokes sided with the defense. In which he was again recently rearrested for that charge. On December 9th, 2023, months after being released on bond, Bowman was arrested by the FBI regarding federal drug charges despite being on bond for state drug charges. Some new developments today. Savannah rapper Quando Rondo was arrested late Friday night. Savannah police say the 24 year old whose real name is Taekwon Terrell Bowman was taken into custody after being served with a warrant. Bowman was a passenger in a car that was pulled over around midnight Friday. This arrest comes nearly six months after Bowman was indicted on four felony charges, including violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. Bowman also has a previous nonviolent felony conviction on his record from 2017. Not much is to be said of the artist's music career at this point, seeing as though he's made more headlines for trouble and issues, you know, that he's been getting into legally. But he did drop the recovery album in March of 2023. And I know that recently he released the video Cash, which has over a million views and counting. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of The Rise and Fall. And this is Ink Effects with Trey Six Hundo. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more like it, go to the page and click the playlist, The Rise and Fall, and stay tuned in to the next time. Let's go. Smack them, you know. Never mind. Yeah. Not smack, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Let's Back get it, man. Big, 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 nigga. Trey Six Hundo, nigga, in the building, nigga. Talk to me. I talk back. Hey. Here we got a Trey Hunter 600.